Okay, th this question we need to draw the three bodies diagram of the beam. That supports the eighty kg plus. Right, so <coughs> We need to draw the bar diagram for the beam. So let's isolate the beam by itself. And then there is a point A here, and there is a point B here, and you have the point E, then you have the point C. And the last dimension here was one point five meters. So as I said since we want, we want to draw the Fubai diagram of the beam, so we isolate the beam by itself. <coughs> then we start looking at the forces. So at point C you have a weight and its mass is eighty kilograms. So you're gonna take this eighty multiplied by nine point eight one to change that to Newton and then the mass is going to change and it will become a force. So that's one known force. Then we go at the point A. Now point A is a hinge. I mean we know by looking at the way it's drawn it's a hinge. So at this point there will be two unknown forces you call one force as a x, you can call another force as a y. So both of those forces are <coughs> unknown forces at the hinge or the reaction forces at the hinge. And both are really unknown at this point. Then <coughs> we got this cable goes from point B, goes over D or the pulley and then comes and attaches itself to the beam at point E. So it's the same cable and we will have one more assumption that the pulley here is frictionless. That means pulley by itself does not add any force to the cable because though if, if there was some friction then you will have an additional force because of friction. So <coughs> if this is the same cable and there is no friction at the pulley then the tension which is going to be in the cable will be same on both ends. If I make a small cut on here and a cut on here, then on the cable, let's say this was the cable on the left and it's being in tension, there will be an unknown force, let's say T and T. Now it's attached to the point B, it's the same cable attached to the point B, so the result of that there will be a force of exact same magnitude as T, but it needs to be opposite to this force. Then <coughs> we're going to take the part on the left of the pulley and that part of the cable is also in tension and <coughs> we already said that wherever the force in this part of the cable should be same on this end. So if the tension on the left part of the pulley was T, then on the right part of the cable would be exact same force 
as T. So it's also attached at point E. So you're going to have exact same force as T and it's going to be in opposite direction of this. This angle is going to be theta and see if this angle here is theta, this is the same as theta. And your cosine theta will be 3 over 5 and sine theta is going to be 4 over 5. So this here is the free body diagram of the beam. <coughs> you have shown the force at point A, you have shown the force at point B and then you have shown the force at point E as well as the force at point C. <coughs> and in this particular problem you are your unknown forces are going to be AX, AY and tension T. And I mean you can go a step further and you could draw or, or you could write the equation of the equilibrium and you should be able to solve the force AX, AY and T. Okay, we're gonna look at one more example.